if you are not in the right place, you might not be receiving the blessings or the breakthrough that you need because you're out of position and you're out of place. Look what the Bible says in Acts 17, 26. It says, and has determined the latter part of the text. There are pre-appointed times. Listen to that. The pre-appointed times. In other words, God has already determined within the time period of your existence for certain things to happen. And when you understand that, that can bring you to a level of revelation that you know that no matter what you're going through now, that God has already determined for certain things to happen in your life. Ecclesiastes says there's a time and a purpose and a season for everything what? Under the heavens. Look at somebody say, it's your time. It's your time. When God has pre-appointed something to happen, it does not matter what you're going through. It does not matter the opposition and what you're facing at this moment. When is your pre-appointed time? Whatever has been appointed to you will be released to you. Say appointment. Appointment. Appointed. Appointed. It's already been designed by God to be released to you at the right time. And when we understand divine appointment, then we can connect and understand provision. Shout provision. provision. What you need to understand about provision, the word pro means before. Vision means to see. In other words, when God is, when God gives you provision, that means he saw the need before you ever had the need. I got some people in here asleep. Provision. God, look at your neighbor and say he saw this beforehand. God already saw this situation and this circumstance coming into your life. And if God already saw, saw it coming, he has already provided before you got there. But the problem is, provision is, is, is limited to specific locations. If you're not in the right place, then you might be out of position to receive the very thing that you've been praying for. Uh huh. The law of location. Say it. The law of location. You are meant to be somewhere at a specific time, at a specific location, and that will release what God has already provided provision for. The word boundaries, according to the New King James Version, there are pre-appointed times and the boundaries of that dwelling, Acts 17, 26. Boundaries are a line that marks the limits of an area. Look at somebody say, stay in your boundaries. A boundary is a line that marks the limits of an area. It is also a sphere of activity or operation. When you operate within your boundaries of your sphere of activities, that basically means you stay in your lane. The problem is, is when we step outside of our sphere of activity or our area of operations. And so when you find your place, then everything that's been designated to you, everything that's been pre-appointed to you, is released just at the right time. Why? Because you are at the right place according to God's purpose for your life. When you see the scripture, it lets you know that I'm not meant to be everywhere. So it's not up to me just to get up and move. Because God's grace will accommodate me when I'm in the right place. And a lot of times we're not being accommodated by the grace of God because we're out of position. If God bless you when you're out of position, then that's him validating you in sometimes, which is rebellion. If I bless you when you're out of place, then you might be tempted to stay out of place. Somebody say location. You are not meant to be everywhere. But somewhere specific that is within the boundaries of God's purpose and plan for your life. It says there are pre-appointed times and the boundaries of that dwelling. Pre-appointed times also refers to the fact that God wants you right here, right now. That your birthing and no matter what conditions you came into the earth, that you are not an accident. Look at somebody say, you're supposed to be here. Pre-appointed times. I don't care what's going on in society, what's going on in the world. God wanted you here for such a time as this, Esther. He wanted you right here, right now. And glory to God, because when you grab that revelation, when you grab that I have a specific location to be, I have a specific place to be, and I'm at the right time, at the right place, everything that's been allotted to you will suddenly begin to flow in your life. Some things are already waiting on you. It's just waiting on you to show up. 
is some stuff that's just waiting on you to show up at the right place at the right time. Some things you're not going to have to pray about. Some things you're not going to have to fast about. Just when you show up, the earth will recognize your DNA. It is a geographical grid that God has already put within the earth before you were even born. The Bible says that he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. Provision. He saw this coming before time. Before time and already had provided. And so when we understand the revelation of provision, then we, this is where we step out of jealousy and envy. Because we understand that the earth is the laws and the food is thereof, the land that they that dwell therein. That means that God has more than enough to supply my needs and your needs. And whatever God has for me, mother, nobody else can get it because he's already put my name on it. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said, you can't have my stuff. You can't, you can't have my stuff. So we're meant to be in a specific location. And this is very important because as you reach a place of spiritual maturity, some of you are so unstable, you have a tendency to jump around. And when you jump around, you may find yourself out of position, out of place. And some things that God has assigned to you, you may miss it. And some of you, the enemy is very strategic. Right before God gets ready to release something major in your life, he begins to put pressure on you and try to get you to relocate or move. And you miss something that God's about to release because you're out of position. But you somebody say, stay in position. So it takes wisdom. Sometimes things are not flowing in your life because you're out of place. Sometimes all hell is breaking out because the enemy is trying to push you out of place. He wants to make you think that you're out of place. And so he will try to make you think that you're in the wrong place by causing all type of chaos and confusion to break out in your life. But sometimes you have to be like the Bible says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Some storms you just have to buckle down and ride out because after the clouds clear, God is going to bless you beyond your imagination. Look at somebody say, buckle down and hang in there. It's a trap of the enemy to try to get you out of your position and get you out of place right before God bless you. Go to Genesis 12. Genesis 12, the law of location and the principle of divine placement. Look at somebody say, God put me here. This is where God wants me. The law of location and the principle of divine placement. Genesis 12. And I just want to read verses 1 and 2. You have it? I have it. It says, now the Lord said to Abram. Who did he talk to? Abram. You need to learn how to specifically hear the voice of God for yourself. What many of you, the problem is, you're trying to hear God through everybody else. But you need to be in a position to hear God for yourself because God spoke specifically to Abraham. God may not speak to your mother. He may not speak to your sisters and your brothers. He may speak directly to you. He says, get out of your country. He says, in other words, leave what you're familiar with. He says, Abraham, I'm calling you out of your comfort zone. Say location. From your family and from your father's house. He says, I'm calling you from your culture. I'm calling you out of the familiar. And I'm calling you out of what you used to provide for you. Father's house. The one that used to provide and protect you. He says, I'm calling you out of that comfort zone. And many of us, we like to stay in a location because it provides comfort. And because that's what we know. But oftentimes, where you are does not have what you need. Where you are does not necessarily have what you need. And where you are, you may start in a certain place, but that that does not mean that you're going to stay in that place. He told Abram, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house. Now, the problem is, when God gets ready to really bless you, some people may not have the capacity to deal with it because they're too familiar with you. Sometimes your your family can only recognize who you were and who you are and who they know who you used to be. But when God gets ready to shift you to another dimension, he may have to relocate you because sometimes... Some 
sometimes your family don't have the mindset to adjust to the new thing that God has given. It, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they're not concerned. But they're used to you being nay nay. They're used to you being little boom boom, little bookie. And so when God starts changing your mindset and starts elevating you, and now all of a sudden wants to bless you and take you to a new dimension, when you come around family, they can't make the adjustment. Jesus says a prophet is without honor among his own countrymen because they're familiar with him. The people were offended when God started to raise Jesus up. He said, wait, wait, wait. They said, wait a minute, ain't this Jones a boy? Yeah. Ain't this the carpenter's son? How, how is he doing all these mighty works? Yeah. Look at somebody say, I don't care. You might have to be upset this season because whatever God desires to do in my life, I'm getting ready to step out of it. I want to see God bless me. Look at somebody say, you might be getting ready to be real mad. Get used to people being uncomfortable with the new thing that God is doing in your life. And some of you, you're right in the middle of a major transition and God is doing something different and your family can't understand it, they can't receive it, they can't comprehend it, but you might as well get used to it. You have to get to a point where you make a decision. Do you want your purpose or are you more concerned about people? Yes, somebody say, I love you, but I got to move on. I got, God is calling me beyond this. Hallelujah. What this means, God. You have to get to the point where you understand just because somebody was a part of your past don't guarantee they will be a part of your future. That don't mean that you don't appreciate them, that you don't love everything that they've done. But when it's time to move, look at the neighbor and say, it's time to move. Get out of your country. Leave your family and your father's house to a land. Shout land. Specific location. To a land. If God is telling Abraham to go to a land, it's something in that land that's waiting on Abraham to get there. Yeah. I'm going to give you a license to prophesy for the next 30 seconds. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, there's a land already waiting on your arrival. It is a specific place that has everything that you need that when you show up, it's going to recognize who you are. When you step on the land, when you step on the ground, the ground will say, I've been waiting on you to get here. Because the Bible says creation grows, waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Why do you think Jesus could speak to the storm and the atmosphere? And the storm responds because the atmosphere recognized him as a son. The storm recognized his voice. And so when you step into a level of maturity in the kingdom of God, the earth begins to recognize who you are in the earth. Listen, remember when God told Adam, he says, listen, because you sin, he says, the earth will no longer yield to you. He says, the earth, in other words, there was a time when Adam, all, 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 all Adam had to do was show up and the earth gave forth what, what he needed. But when sin came into the picture, he had to force the earth to give it up. But now that you are son, now because of the blood, when you show up, creation yields what you need. And that's what God brought me and you in here to do today, to release you from the stress and the worry. Because God wants you to know that the land is getting ready to yield to you everything that you need. They need more proof. If you are willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Let me define it for you. The good of the land is the best that the land has to offer. Not just on top of the land, but what's under the land too. Oh God. In other words, houses are on land. Cars drive on land. People walk on land. Anything that's on the land, you have access to it. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. The law of location and principle of divine play. Look at somebody say, it's waiting on you. He says, go to a land, specific place. That I will show you. Uh-oh, here we go. Let me get in your business. Because many of you want to see it before you go. <laughs> but I'm sorry, child of God, it does not work like that. The Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. We fix our eyes not on the things which are seen, but on the things which are not seen. If you want to see it, sometimes you got to step out and it will be it will reveal itself as you move forward. Yeah. 